In this video, we're going to talk about the actions behind the scenes that QuickBooks does for you when you post a bill, uh, what it looks like behind the scenes, and what are your debits and credits. And this is going to be a bill for expenses or non-inventory parts. So I'm just going to go ahead in here and choose one of my vendors. I'm going to say that we are buying non-inventory parts, electrical materials from this vendor. And I'm going to delete the customer information because that's not important for this. I'm also going to go on the expenses side and click freight and delivery and the amount is $100. So we all have our electric materials, which is a non-inventory part. And we also have $100 going to freight and delivery. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save this for now. And once I've saved it, I'm going to look at the journal. So this is telling me behind the scenes, what are the debits and credits that are happening with this bill? Okay, so I'm going to get rid of some of these extra columns that we don't need and focus on the ones that are important over here. All right, so we can see here Accounts payable goes up. It has a natural credit balance. Positive balance is a credit. So accounts payable goes up by $2,100 because that's how much the total bill was for. Remember over here, the $2,100. All right, and then freight and delivery expense goes up by $100. And then also the job materials expense goes up by $2,000. And that's because we have electrical materials, the item electrical materials going or being pointed towards job materials account on bills, okay? So our expenses go up by $2,100 and our accounts payable goes up by $2,100. And that is the result of entering a expense as well as a non-inventory part on a bill.